What's up everyone? I'm here in Lisbon, Portugal, uh, standing in front of the monuments here uh, in the main square here, right on the water, which is right behind me there. Um, just flew in from Marrakesh, Morocco. Uh, Portugal's now country number 29, so uh, that's pretty exciting. Um, it's a beautiful night here, uh, a little humid. I think there's some more rain coming. Um, yeah. Anyways, uh, the trip in Morocco was awesome. Um, I'll, I'll share more about that. Um, but I'm going to explore Lisbon uh, tomorrow and a little bit tonight and uh, head back to the States. So come with me. All right, so this is the Rua Augusta Arch and Promenade. I walked down the main street. My hostel was just off off this main promenade. Lots of uh, restaurants and shops and stuff along this popular tourist tourist area, and leads it right down to the water in the big uh, plaza down there by the water. And there's the Dom Jose statue, which is right in the center of the plaza there. And yeah, good look at the water there as well. Right, so now walking back up the promenade, a uh, little stop for gelato and an espresso. <laughs> I was pretty tired at this point, but that was good. And uh, made my way back to my hostel. As you can see, it's called the Home Lisbon Hostel. I really enjoyed it. It was good, a good hostel for the couple of days that I was there. It was. It looked like a really nice place. Right, so now I'm. Uh, it, this is the next morning, and I'm walking up the hill in the Alfama neighborhood, which is a historical neighborhood there in Lisbon. And uh, these first images were of the Lisbon Cathedral. Oh, and it was a beautiful sunrise. Oh my goodness. Uh, you're going to see a lot more sunrise pictures here in the next uh, few minutes. Uh, but it was just a perfect morning. It was great walking around. There wasn't many people out. Um, uh, this is this is one of my favorite mornings of my life, to be honest with you. It was amazing. So I continued walking up the hill in the uh, Alfama district or neighborhood. Um, there's a lot of hills in Lisbon, and uh, it's, this is a very hilly area. Um, but after watching the sunrise for a bit, I continued up, went to the Miradoro de Graca. Um, there's an old church up there with a different viewpoint of the city. 
And um, yeah, got to see all the sights there. Then I had this incredible breakfast. Um, that was the best meal I had had in uh, close to two weeks at that point. Uh, it was so good. So, so good. I ate everything. I was so hungry. Um, it was awesome. I believe the place is called Quasi Cafe, but I'm not 100% sure. It was just on a smaller street in the neighborhood as I was coming back down the hill. So I'm not entirely sure, but oh my gosh, it was so good. All right, these next few pictures here are taken from inside the walls of Castello de São Jorge, uh, which is at the top of the hill here, uh, overlooks the city. Um, it's at the top of the Alfama neighborhood. Um, I'm sure I butchered that name, but St. George Castle, Castle in English. Um, great, great city views. I like to be in there in the morning. It was less uh, crowded. Uh, you know, it's just a beautiful morning again. And stunning stunning views of of lisbon um it was amazing and uh had a lot of fun touring it also a lot of history there as well so really interesting uh if you're a history fan And now I'm walking back down the uh, Alfama neighborhood, down the hill. Uh, I was, went with a friend who I met on the Morocco trip, and uh, we uh, went to this Miss Can place, had some uh, green wine, uh, which was, was good. And uh, there's some sardines there. This is a really good place. Um, recommend it for sure, especially if you're looking for natural ingredients. Uh, that's the place to go, but uh, yeah. It was a beautiful morning and uh, enjoyed the walk. So I went back down towards uh, the Rua Augusta Promenade there and grabbed lunch. Uh, this was like a fish and cheese uh, kind of thing with um, some port wine. And uh, that, was, that was a good little lunch there. And then I stopped for the famous uh, Paste de Nada. Hopefully that's how you pronounce it. Uh, the custard tarts that uh, are famous in Portugal. Um, super good. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was, that was a good little lunch after a busy morning. So I, uh, took an Uber out, um, just down the road a little ways. It was a few miles, uh, to, this is the Bellum Tower. I'm sure I'm butchering that, but, uh, an old fortress uh, right down on the water there, uh, not too far from the downtown uh, Lisbon, but uh, this cool little uh, little tower, ancient tower out there. Uh, it, was, it was fun to, to see a little bit. Didn't get to go inside, unfortunately, but uh, cool photo ops for sure. I walked along the water a little ways uh, from the tower back towards downtown uh, Lisbon there. Um, not too far away is this uh, monument that's called Pedrao dos Descombrimentos. Again, sorry for butchering it, but um, it's a monument dedicated to uh, all the Portuguese explorers um, that are 
that are famous and, and uh, explored a lot of the world um, back in the like, 14 to 1500s. Um, but yeah, it's a really cool monument. You get the, uh, the bridge in the background, which looks like the Golden Gate Bridge. There's a whole story behind that, which um, someone more versed in that should uh, share. But um, it's meant to look like the Golden Gate Bridge. And uh, anyways, it was a good little walk there. And uh, yeah, beautiful monument. I made my way up uh, away from the water uh, in the downtown area to uh, ultimately I made it to uh, Solar dos Presuntos, which is a Portuguese family style uh, upper scale restaurant for sure, um, where I met up with uh, some people from the Morocco trip that I had just come from and uh, we had dinner there. Uh, I got there a little early, so I took some pictures and videos as you saw and um they had a bottle of wine that <laughs> they helped me finish when they got there but uh super good food which i'll see here in a second um very good and uh yeah it was it was a great great way to spend the evening and then i had a beautiful walk back to the hostel and i flew out the next morning so overall it was a great trip really enjoyed it and i'm gonna leave you with uh this iconic uh the iconic trolleys that are uh, all over the city of, of Lisbon. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned a little bit about uh, Lisbon. Uh, got to see some sights, some inspiration for your next trip. And uh, I'll see you all next week. 